straight to Seoul, uh, more specifically by the Imperial Palace. I'll try to cut this intro a little short just because it's deathly cold. I'd say it's on paper it says it's minus 6, but it feels like minus 20. So for sure getting frostbite from having my hands out and about. Whew, look at that. Anyways, so going to a fried chicken spot, I'm gonna try and find it. So strolled and tried to find some by the Imperial Palace, but those places were closed, even though the uh, app, the Korean app, which Google Maps doesn't work, uh, Cacao Map, it said it was open, but it's clearly not. So hopefully this spot is open and ready for us to enjoy. So I'm gonna try and find it and go from there. Stay tuned. find a spot here. It's quite difficult to find actually. Hopefully I do find it soon. Otherwise I'm gonna have to circle back and just call it because it is extremely cold. Stay tuned. Finally found a spot. Let's go in. Ooh. Curry chicken, basak, sisiyan, honey, Ooh. rice, fries, peppers, and they got other items here as well, and some drinks. Let's just get settled here, make a selection, and go from there. So, I got half and half, two choices, uh, bone in, so I got the honey inja, and I got the goma ooh, spicy. Uh, with these little annotations here, these are the best sellers, but I didn't want to get like two glazed chickens, so one dry, one wet. Stay tuned. Cool setup here. Cutlery inside. Two forks. Daikon. And a container for the bones. So let's just sit tight and wait for this uh, chicken here. <laughs> the honey imja and the spicy glaze. Stay tuned. You got the chicken already. Ooh, it smells very fresh. I'm very excited. But hope you're staying safe, staying healthy. This is gonna be a nice warming meal. I came to Korea just to try chicken and let's see how they do it across the pond here. I'm gonna take a quick photo. <laughs> Just pour some water here. Self serve. Let's dive into this chicken. Like I said, container for bones. Side of daikon to palate cleanse. Let's try this one. Mm. 
one is really good, but both balance each other out. Mm. Nice glaze here. Pepper. Chili, sorry. So juicy.
Mm. Skin is really good. Definitely getting bone in, it dampens the experience. Sauces and seasonings, just nicely coated. Mm. 
It's awesome to be off the beaten path. And try this delicious food.
chicken. Very moist. Very tender. Seasonings are unreal. Very high quality, I would say. Uh, a wet wipe here as well. <sighs> Much needed. It's good to get a very protein packed meal. One of the dishes I wanted to for sure try well here. And it was well worth it, even though. It was a struggle to find a spot um, nearby the palace, but sometimes you have to go the off the beaten path just to find these places. solid yeah. and the restaurant is called Yodo Chicken anyways I will recap my thoughts of the two flavors here the honey imja and the goma wu spicy and um, the seasoning with honey perella powder stay tuned Beard. Hey, here at the outro so this is a recap review of my first fried chicken I've had in Korea. So I got the honey uh, imja and the spicy one, so half and half. I found that the um, the the dried chicken uh, quite powdery. Uh, the skin was very crispy, but the powder on the chicken, I feel like they kind of over season it. Uh, not a bad thing necessarily, but you definitely got to be careful with the inside of your throat because it gets dried out. Um, yeah, I would say it's a good combination. If I were to play it back, probably boneless would 
be a better experience but I'm all about bone in for the chicken just because it just seems more of a true testament of if they can fry the chicken with the bone in then it's a good spot because I f I usually find that uh, when they do boneless it's like smaller pieces it's easier to eat and it's just easier to cook but a true testament of like frying chicken is can they fry it properly with the bone in and how it's originally intended to be because uh southern style fried chicken american fried chicken uh they they fry it like with the pieces intact and uh originally americans were the first to uh fry chicken and mass produce it properly um i mean like colonel sanders of course and then when the korean war happened the G.I. Joe's kind of like taught the Koreans how to fry chicken and that's a little, little bit of history. But yeah, that's kind of like my rationale for why I get like bigger pieces rather than like the uh, boneless version. Because it seems like if you get boneless version then people can just like have smaller pieces and yeah. Usually when I go for uh, Korean fried chicken, I don't get like two of the saucy flavors. I get like a dry and a wet. It's just me personally because if you get two wet versions, then, you know, it can definitely slow you down. Uh, I find it for Korean food in general, it's kind of like shared. Like you need like a secondary person because the portions are massive. I wish that they had like a single kind of like portion where you can get two flavors but like for one person so like two pieces and two pieces because like I had like six pieces of each flavor and it's kind of a lot um, but yeah in terms of a rating the fried chicken was good the sauces were good very juicy very moist um, and the sheer fact that it was close to the palace was a bonus point as well um from what i remembered they had like two floors uh very lively they're serving up alcohol like crazy and um i'm trying to remember if they had a sliced pork like bosom but yeah i went for the fried chicken it was delicious uh, uh would highly recommend it um, this area is not, like, the busiest area. It's kind of like a hole in the wall. If you search up fried chicken in Google, uh, although Google Maps doesn't really work, uh, if you search it up on, um, the proprietary Korean search, I think it's called, uh, it'll come to me, it'll come to me. I think it's, like, uh like now it's gonna bother me if i don't search it up korean search never so never then you'll definitely find it like korean, korean fried chicken but uh yeah I forgot that Google Maps is not a thing. It's kind of like the neighbors to the north. So they're doing their best just to kind of keep it off the American system there. But yeah, I would recommend the spot. Um, if possible, like, you could live without the dry version. Uh, the spicy one was pretty solid. Um, but yeah, definitely try and go with someone else because... It's kind of a big portion of chicken. So I'll leave it at that. Take care. Signing off. Hope you're enjoying this whole uh, food series. There was like a few spots that I wish I went to. Like the food stall market and such. And exploring Hongdae more. But I mean like it is what it is. I had minimal time. And it was kind of really cold. I didn't really want to be out and about and explore and get frostbite. So uh, take care. Signing off. And subscribe for more. Bye for now.